I finally set up a drip irrigation system in my uh, vegetable garden which gonna be fed by a either rain barrel or a barrel that you know I fill it up with uh, lake water and then once every couple of weeks I can add the fertilizer directly in there and uh, that's gonna be connected the hose there which is going to run through the hose this is a bro uh, hose that uh, was uh, I didn't like it it was too hard it wasn't scrap or anything but what I did is uh, I took a very small uh, drill bit so I took a 1 16th drill bit and then I just started making holes into the hose and uh, what I did is the the holes closer to the barrel were further apart and as I uh, approach the end of the hose I got them to make them uh, closer so uh, over here I would say it's about uh, 10 centimeters maybe a bit less and on the other side I was keeping them at 15 20 centimeter just because you know the pressure is gonna be higher closer to the barrel than on this side so I'm gonna hook that up uh, to the barrel I'm gonna cover this with a tarp so that weeds do not grow and then I'll be planting my uh, vegetables then I can run that uh, barrel open the faucet there and see you know I would aim to use maybe one full barrel per couple of days for uh, I would say this is what it's a 20 feet by uh, 4 feet land so I just hooked it up turn it on and I would say that that 116 is probably too big um, or maybe just good enough we'll see but this barrel is gonna empty itself much much faster now so what I might be doing is turning it off maybe for half an hour and then uh, turn it off we'll see you know I have to go by uh, how much water it's got but as you can see it's working very well all along and now the water is slowly coming all the way to the end of the hose there you go nice little drip irrigation system powered solely by the pressure inside the rain barrel so I can also put directly my uh, uh, liquid fertilizer in there and uh, voila I don't have to go and water each plant individually